Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a workflow from beginning to end using Photoshop. Um, I have opened up my blue, black, and white photo, and I'm going to crop that down. If you don't know how to crop or you don't remember how to crop, there is a more in-depth tutorial posted to the blog. Um, it was just posted before this post, so you should be able to check that out. I'm going to crop this down. 8 by 10 this is again my blue black and white photo I'm being careful not to crop at joints cropping at joints is really weird you don't want to make, look, make them look like an amputee so I have my blue black and white photo done now for blue black and white we're going to use um, PW action set 1 and set 2 these are really great actions to use for um, the beginning of your uh, edit and the end so if I open them up down here remember I have to open them up I have fresh and colorful, um, the lovely one, and the soft and faded. Um, these two are really great um, pre-edits. They're really good to run very first. So is boost and define and sharpen and slightly lighten, slightly sharpen, and flatten. Um, those are really good ones to run. I also have... Um, these are all pretty... Um, after effects ones that you want to run after you've gotten your photo to look really well except for dumb the lights you can turn that down and sharpen this is pretty good so is bring on the eyes but I like to run fresh and colorful on mine so I'm gonna run that um, now play around with the light layer it kinda of made him a little red so I'm gonna go into my layers See how I'm turning them on and off to check them out? I'm going to turn this up. Brighten them up a little bit. That looks a lot better. Now I'm going to flatten this because I have to flatten before I run another action. Remember that. You need to flatten before you run another action. I'm going to try boost on here. And then flatten image. And I, or I could have ran the flatten image and then define and sharpen. Okay, I can go in here and I can turn that on or off and I can turn that down just a little bit. Okay, now I can go in and I can do whatever I want to that now that I have this step because you're allowed to do any of them that you want you can you can play with them what I would do is I would go into your history and I would create a snapshot so I'm gonna click right here and I have a snapshot and I'm going to name that ready so that way if I don't like something I did I can go back to this point for example I'm gonna run vintage on this and maybe I don't really like that one, or maybe I do. Um, maybe I don't like it, so I can just go into my history and I can go back to ready, and now it's ready to run another action on it. So what I'm actually going to do is I like their, her colorized action, so I'm going to run that on it, and I really like that. I'm going to flatten that. And then I'm going to run her quick edge burn which is a really good vignette and then I'm gonna flatten it again the reason I'm flattening images is because you have a lot of layers in each one of these things and it won't save as a JPEG unless you flatten them and the only way you can upload them to Photoshop or to your blog from Photoshop is to run it as a JPEG or a ping so now I'm gonna to go to file save as and then I'm gonna create a, a folder on my desktop that says assignments for digital camera create that and I'm gonna name this my blue black and white and that way it's in there and now I have that image and I know exactly where it's at so now you're done you can upload this to your blog and you've done some really great things don't forget which actions you've run on it um, sometimes I put a little posty up on my desktop so I know what action that I've ran so that way I can put that on my